Hey guys, what's up? It's Armed and Loaded. I wanted to go ahead and start this video off by saying I have also had a sort of a fascination with knives as well as guns. Uh, I don't really review knives because I don't know much about them as far as steels and different kinds of bins and carbon steel. I know a little bit here and there, but not enough to say I'm an expert. I do know a decent quality knife. So it could be like, you know, versus like those crappy m you see like <laughs> at the convenience stores, you know, which ones I'm talking about. This company is actually pretty well uh, known, if you're not mistaken. This is actually the company Ravencrest. Now, if you're wondering why you've never seen these knives on the Ravencrest website, is because I am part of their super special, super affordable Raven Pack plan, which is a subscription plan that gets you a knife every single month. And also, you get to be like one out of the lucky million that they send these Raven packs to, and they'll send you one the the regular monthly knife you're supposed to get with everybody else on top of a special knife just for you. Um, it's around six. It's around nine dollars to do it, uh, averaging out because if you live in Arizona, the way it works is they send it to you for free. If you live out of the state of Arizona, they charge you a seven dollar fee. So I'm paying sixteen dollars a month, and apparently every month that you have them with you. The knives get better, and as I can tell, they have. I wanted to kind of show you guys what I've been through. It's been four months, and you know, I usually don't give these things that much, like, time. Kind of like you've seen the last couple packs I've been doing. Either ran out of money, or they're too expensive, or, or you, you know, it just wasn't for me. And, uh, you know, it's a waste of money. So, let me walk you guys through this. As you know, Ravencrest is well known for their OTF knives, which a video should be popping up. Like this is a $9 knife. Now... I haven't been able to buy this online from Ravencrest, but it did come in my monthly subscription pack. Most of the knives, almost like I think all the ones I've gotten so far, let's see if I can focus it right there. Come on, focus. There we go. It's all made out of 440C uh, steel, I think stainless steel. So this is the first knife I got the month. It's got a, a false edge on here. It's got the real edge right here. It's got kind of like a spear point slash drop point. It is a foldable. It is about a three inch blade, nice. I love the the wood texture on you, the, the wood G10 texturing on here. This isn't real wood, it's just shaped to, it's just colored to look that way. So it is a nice knife, I like it. It is a regular like a, a liner lock. It's not like a liner lock, I forget which ones this are. I, I don't know which ones they are. Basically it's the one where the tab goes over, just to block this right here. So as you can tell. Oh, sorry, there we go. And that's the first knife I got for the month. Second knife, and I love these uh, chopper type knives, is uh, kind of like, uh, it's a big chopping knife. It's pretty nice. It's the same length blade, a little bit wider. Uh, it has the same finish on most of these. It's like a stone wash finish, and they kind of just uh, polish off the edge to give it like a cool, like real, real deep edge look. Uh, they're very sharp out of the box. Same kind of lock on this one. Same G10 wood handle. They're all shaped very differently. They're ergonomic, but the jimping's always really good on these. And I like the fact that they are all a regular blade edge, not like serrated. This is the third knife I got. It's a fixed blade. It is another chopper style type of uh, blade. It's got a nice jimping back here, so you could do a little bit of woodwork and really get on that. It's got a spot right here, so you don't go too far. Actually, a guard right there for your finger too, so you don't actually push up too far. It's got that same kind of texture. It's like that really, really uh, type of like G10 slash sandpaper feel. So it's it's really grippy. It feels great. Um, it comes with its own custom sheath leather, of course. Not Kydex, but I mean, it's 10 bucks, dude. Like that's what I'm saying. All this is 440C steel, and they don't make these. That you can't buy them on their website. So it's it's awesome. That's awesome. And then for the last one that just passed is December. Ah, I got this puppy right here. Only complaint I had about this is you don't get to pick your knife. So I'm not really into serrations. This one came with it. It's whatever. I don't mind. It's like a nice little, um, I forget what those knives are called. Whatever. I'll just post it right there. Same 440 seal, uh, same 440 uh, C stainless steel. I love the grip on this. It's like a, it's like a real hard, it almost feels like steel almost right here, but it, it, it feels really good. It's like a, a type of fish scale on here. It feels very nice, it's got a little leather strap at the end. And again, another fixed blade, and this one comes with a leather sheath. Now, 
It also did come with this, which is like a can opener, bottle opener from Ravencrest. It actually has her emblem right there. I haven't opened it. I do not, I am assuming this is not the second knife because I'd be kind of dumb. But this came, I guess, like as a special or an extra because it was Christmas or the Christmas month. So, so far, I've been using them for about four months. I like the knives I've gotten so far. I can't complain for $9 or 16 really. So, um, if you guys are cheap, want to get a knife every month, in case you guys want to start collecting knives but can't afford it, it's a good way to go. Uh, I like it. I can't really afford to buy like high-end dollar knives. I would love a Halo OTF, but I'm not going to spend $400 on a knife, which is just ridiculously crazy because mostly in that once you remember a knife is made to use eventually it is gonna break eventually I mean they're not gonna meant to be last forever unless you take care of them but I feel a knife's a tool it's not gonna be something to be babied like my guns are sorry <laughs> but that's pretty much the whole video guys I wanted to let you guys know what I think about it and I kind of want to get your opinions and let me know what you guys think is it like a good deal what do you guys think about 440C steel, which I have read as a bearing type of steel? Um, and uh, just anything else you can think of that you want to put down in the comments or any questions you have, I'll answer. So um, thank you guys for watching again. I'm going to go ahead and, and edit this video and post it up. And hopefully I have a new video up for you guys pretty soon. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hit the like button, uh, subscribe button right there. And hit the like button at the bottom. What's the thumbs up? And if you want to, push that little bell too if you want to get notifications when I make videos. I know they're kind of scattered around and I make here and there. But every time you guys watch it and subscribe, it helps me out. So you guys have a nice night. Appreciate it. Have a nice day. Peace.